Hello everyone. Welcome back to Multi Magic channel. As you know, we have our interns with us and this session will be the sprint 3 grooming. Today we'll go over the tasks each intern will be tackling in the sprint 3, breaking it down by team and module. Before we dive in, I want to give a quick shout out to everyone for their hard work in sprint 2. the progress and the dedication shown by each of you were totally impressive and it's exciting to see how your skills are developing so let's keep up the moment and build on these successes as we move forward so without any delay now let's discuss the task for sprint 3 of this module so the name of this module is navigation builder module we call we simply call them as nbm so that is navigation builder module okay so in this sprint tree what they have they are going to implement is what they are going to build on this uh, feature is so basically previous sprint uh, to before explain that let me tell you very briefly what they have done in sprint 2 so in sprint 2 they have added this sidebar header primary tab secondary tab and in header tab they added a small control with which uh, user can add a small menu item or menu text or a small profile image okay <coughs> so now in sprint 3 they are going to focus on primary and secondary okay so if user clicked on this primary tab he should be able to get a card or like this with a small switch which should be default i mean the default option of that switch is zero okay if user changed that default option to i mean zero to one then we should be able to get three default home about services menu items so this is a primary menu so primary menu means this section this section of uh, the screen is primary menu okay so by by enabling this we are going to give three menu items in default and we are going to display them like this okay so basically we can we worked on this in sprint 2 here for on this header menu so yep so in this sprint we are going to focus on this primary and secondary menu this is secondary menu okay so as i told these are the default options so let us uh, uh, check into this Uh, what is these icons uh, used for so on so okay so this icon is used for edit this icon is for delete this icon is a drag handler okay so if suppose if user clicks on this icon that is edit icon okay so we should display a small dialog will display a small dialog in that dialog give me a second yep in that dialog we should show the menu text field right now we have suppose if user clicked on this okay so the menu text should be here i mean the menu text what we should have there is home okay and we should have a small plus icon plus button circular button if user hovers on it we should display a small tool tip that is select an item okay let us assume suppose uh, if user clicked on this i mean let us not uh, talk about that uh, at uh, right now itself it's too early so let us also discuss about this small input field which has uh, it's it's a select basically it's a select uh, select control but uh, for now we have only web view in that so we'll keep only one select menu and uh, we will keep that as default okay that's for future scaling purposes okay so after that we have to keep another small text menu item sorry a uh, text field item so inside that we should display https and after that user should be able to enter the url here okay now let us see about this if user clicked on this icon that means this icon so user clicked on this icon okay <coughs> so we should display another small pop up with multiple icons with multiple icons and the categories of the icons 
So for now we are using this library icon sax react. So please refer to this icon sax react uh, documentation and use those icons only here. Okay. And coming to this suppose another option, another field. This is one we completed this edit. Now coming to this delete. So if user clicked on this delete, it should delete the menu item and uh, that menu item which is displayed here should be removed. Okay. So coming to this next one, drag handler. This is a drag handler. Okay. Suppose if I hover my mouse here. Okay. If I click that icon and I should be able to, if I move that to the top, award should come to the bottom and services should go to the top. <coughs> that that same action should also be happen here so basically we are <coughs> rearranging the menu items i'm sorry uh, uh, my voice is uh, i mean i have a bit of cold so please uh, bear with me so we should be able to drag up and down so we should be able to rearrange the items using this drag handler okay and also we should add a small button uh, which has add item okay if we get if we click on this add item this should exactly display like this and menu item should be added and that also should be displayed here okay so that is all about the primary section and secondary section is pretty similar if you observe secondary second secondary section it is also pretty similar it also has so and so so and so uh, edit icon delete icon drag handler uh, the small pop up where uh, uh, user will create a menu item and uh, if user clicked on this uh, small hint we should display another pop up where user can pick an icon so this is for delete this is for drag handler in the same way we should uh, uh, drag these drag these uh, menu items to rearrange them or to rearrange the order the only difference is our screen is divided into three parts that is uh, header menu, primary menu, secondary menu, right? So the secondary menu in the secondary tab, the only change which we are going to get is this should be at the bottom. We are focusing on primary here in this, uh, uh, in this tab previously, but now for the secondary menu, we are focusing here, email, call and share. Okay, that's all. So that's all uh, of these sprint to sprint three tasks for navigation builder module. Hope you guys are going to have a lot of fun because whatever you are doing here, you'll be watching them in the live here, which is actually interesting, right? If you are playing something, if you are doing something, if you see the results of them, uh, I mean, right in front of you, that gives a lot of motivation and excitement to perform the task even more better okay so that is the main uh, main benefit of working in uh, front end development i literally love this part like whatever we are doing we should be, we should be able to see that in the screen it, it feels like we, we are doing some magic right okay enough of uh, this funny cracky jokes i have a very less sense of humor uh, yeah, that's all uh, for this module for Sprint 3 tasks. Happy learning, happy coding, take care, see you soon, bye bye.